Hello, and welcome to your sixth E2 tutorial. This one's going to be about entities, or at least some parts of entities, and some parts of vectors. Uh, it's pretty much just going to be how they work together. So, an entity, like I mentioned before, is anything. So, for example, this, this is an entity. It's also like a prop. So, this is, that's an entity. That's an entity. Uh, what else do I have that's an entity? Besides, like, everything. Um, uh, that is an entity. They're, they're all entities. Actually, well, so some of these are actually several entities. Like, this this part is an entity, this part is one, and then there's three barrels on it. So it, this thing's actually, like, uh, five entities. I almost said six. All right. Anyway. Um, so to get the entity, entity, enti entity of the um, current thing, you could type entity, just like that. This is the expression 2 chip. Um, that this thing is currently like attached to. So, or not attached to, but um, this is the expression 2 chip. Alright, so if you want to get the entity that it is attached to though, you can type a colon, because if you want to call a function, you type a colon after the object you're calling the function from. So the entity that we have, we're going to put a colon after that because we're calling it from there, and then we type is welded Okay, so pretty much, also, how functions work, you pretty much you type their name, then you type the two parentheses, and then they will return a value or do something. Usually they return a value. So in this case, entity just returns the entity value. So then, the colon, this would be as if you had an output called, like, test, for example, because I don't feel like I have a better name. So if you have test equals entity. And then, down here, you wrote test is welded to. This might be a little bit easier to read. What this means is test is now this expression, and but then test, this is the entity that we are welded to. Or maybe I'll make name this self, and that'll be more clear. Self equal entity. And this one is the thing we're welded to, and then welded to entity. Also, remember to specify entity, otherwise it will call you out and there will be an error. Like this. Okay, so now self is this thing. Welded to is what we're welded to. Um, but you can also do it like this. You don't you don't have to have the intermediate stage. You can just call it from here too. Like that. Which I prefer and it's more efficient. All those I mean, it depends on what you're doing. Sometimes it's less efficient. But if you're just doing it once like this, then it's more efficient to do it like that. Okay, and then there's one more command I'm gonna talk about this time which is going to be the pause, or position is what it stands for, obviously, but uh, it's called pause. So what it does is it just gets a vector of the current position in the world of this object. So if you call pause on it, no, I'll, I'll show you. Here's a chip. And then let's get our other our debugger. See? Well, okay, great. This thing isn't actually welded to anything, so it's not going to work. Um, Remove the is welded to line, and then... Alright. And now you see that it's negative 10,000... I don't know if you can read that, actually. Negative 10,248, negative 3,001.5, and negative 3,000... or negative 7,111, which is the current position of this object in the world. So that's how you get the thing's object, or at thing's position. So anyway... Uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.